Hey YouTubers, just wanted to give you a little insight into how I'm doing my blade lift on my little D3, D5, whatever it is. I think um, I saw this done by Custom Crawlers and made my own little revision to it so that it would suit my needs. I made these little brackets. I designed these, I can put these up on Thingiverse. But these are just little pins that um, bolt onto the to the arm there and then the pin goes through the hole so you just drill a hole and literally just bolt this little pin onto the arm and done and then I got one that I'm I redesigned for this back mount and it's printing up right now but in the meantime you can still see it. it's it's working pretty darn good uh, it just clears on the, the chassis I don't think I'm going to make any adjustments to the down travel because, um, you know, anything more down than that just lifts the tracks off the ground and you lose traction. So I'm just going to go for ultimate plowability realism. But um, I'm going to put these up on YouTube or on Thingiverse if somebody asks for them. I'm not going to take the time if nobody wants them, but if somebody is interested in these pins to um, put these actuonics actuators on your D5 then it'll make it super easy you won't have to spend the time designing it or or uh, doing any of that just print it up and down the road it's super strong I printed it um, 100% you probably get away with a little less but at 100% these things are pretty much unbreakable I had to put a huge amount of force with my hands on it to break it so so that's it if you have any questions, let me know. Next step will be doing the blade angle. But, um, yeah, I designed these pins, so if anybody wants them, let me know. Post them up.